Here we go. Previously on Dynasty, we knocked off the number seven team in the country, USC, making a statement. Wasn't even close, 40 to 14. Fellas, our USC program has not missed the beat since I signed the contract. And it looks like for the third straight year, the Pac-12 will be dominated by yours truly. I mean, is there any team in the Pac-12 that has a shot against us, that can compete with us, with the firepower, with the ammo? Well, this week, we have number five, Oregon. And can they give a better effort than Washington did? There it is, number two versus number five. We're on the road in Eugene, Oregon. Or the uneducated would say Oregon, Oregon. Kirk is picking us, no surprise. I'm ready, man, I am so ready. Number two versus number five. The Pac-12 has really, has really separated itself from the Pac. I mean, we're, I would say the second best conference right now behind the ACC, but we have the best program in all of the country. This is going to be on a Friday night, ESPN telecast. Some of the headlines, Trojans win, Trojans win. Notre Dame beat Clemson. Notre Dame has just been dominant, dominant. I think it was Miami, Clemson, and I forgot another team they beat. Oh my, Texas, Texas, Miami, Clemson to start the season, all ranked in the top 10. South Carolina versus Alabama. It's the, it's the game where game day will be. And then you got Oregon versus USC on a Friday night. On a Friday night. Florida State starts conference play. LSU, Vandy, and Tennessee Ole Miss. So we're getting into conference play. Um, don't forget, we also got some non-conference games. But man, here we go. I'm ecstatic. We have a 30 game winning streak. Can it be 31 after tonight? In Eugene, Friday night football. Oregon in the all black, USC in the traditional white. I'll see you after the game is over. We're gonna take it back to Jabrilli as he will cover this game. Thank you so much, Narrator. It's USC versus Oregon tonight. Welcome to the EA Sports pregame show number two, USC riding a 30 game winning streak against number five, Oregon. Triple option time, Kitty Slovis, and he fumbled, the pitch went awry, the Ducks get a turnover, just what they need. Tyler Show, throws a dime to Micah Pittman. The screen to Sean Dollars. Blocking is correct. The touchdown is a must. Oregon strikes first. The Oregon Duck loving it. Slovis on a five wide formation to Marquis Step, his favorite for receiver. It's a read option here. Keenan Slovis, he has green. He has green. And he's going to take brutal shots like that. Coach Jabril is fine with that. He's going to run again. Oh, he gets his claw clean. 
but USC recovers. And now John Jackson off the jet sweep. USC gets on the board. Tied at seven. Halfway through the first quarter. Tyler Show is sacked. USC with the first stop of the game. Marquis Stapp following the blockers against midfield. Slovis throws a dime to Kyle Ford. 15 yards. Wide open. Brew McCoy. The Brew McCoy show. Show. It's live in Eugene. Keenan Slovis throws it deep to John Jackson the third. And John Jackson, 49 yards. 21 straight points for the Trojans. Number two playing like number two You're in hostile territory on a Friday night. Sean Dollars gets the block and gets a 17 yard run. Man in motion, that's John Jackson the third. He already has a couple touchdowns. He's gonna get a third. John Jackson the third. And this USC offense is hitting all cylinders. So, down the middle to Davis Webb, Spencer Webb, excuse me. Third and two, can they get the first down or a touchdown? They get neither. USC's D-line, best in the country for the past two years, gets the stop in Oregon, gets it three points. 19 rush plays, 16 pass plays. USC's offense has been just the best of both worlds. There you go. Read option. Missed the tackle. Keenan Christian so fast, making people miss without the ball. And they get to Keenan Slovis. Kayvon Thibodeau with the sack. Marquis step down the middle. That always works for Slovis. 28 to 10. Slovis is scrambling. He's scrambling. He's going to take it off with it. He gets inside the 10. 38 seconds left. Triple option again. But this one is by Joseph Marshall, who spins his way into the end zone. A blue chip recruit for USC gets on the board. This USC offense is unstoppable. Oregon running out of time. Can they make this a game? Down the middle, Spencer Webb getting inching closer to field goal positioning. Another pass, Micah Pittman with the catch. And now, Oregon. They put it in, and that will end the first half, 35 to 13, USC stopping a mud hole in Eugene. And in motion here to start off the second half. Stevens missed his assignment show. He'll get a 20 yards on that rush play. Oregon setting up. 4-3. They get three. 35-16. Keenan Christian makes a move. Keenan Christian. USC going to capitalize on this. Long field goal, and it's good. 
Matt Dixon, the loop, grows a winner. And show off the back foot to Brian Madison, the senior. Here we go. No good. No good. They give it to the man in motion, Kyle Ford. Now USC can tack on three extra as they do. It's been a field goal heavy third quarter. Show to us, Webb. Webb trucks another man, pushes another man off. The big tight end, big target, who's been the best receiver for Oregon here. And now Sean Dollars. Oregon, they have a shot, 41 to 23. Marquis Step. To the end zone. That's going to be all she wrote. USC, 31 game winning streak now. John Jackson the third dominates with his two touchdowns. He also had a rushing touchdown, so that's three overall touchdowns. That's going to be it for me. We're going to send it to the narrator, Coach Jabril. Only one loss this whole series. And what could be his biggest game, regular season game ever, dominates Oregon. This is going to be it for us. We'll see you next time. All right, thank you so much, Jabrilli. And now, well, USC 31 game winning streak. Congratulations to them. The scenes here in Eugene, Friday night. Morgan thought they had a good shot. It started off so well, but that UFC talent hit. I mean, who's gonna stop this team in this conference? I don't know who. Morgan played perfect game, no turnovers, but they just could not keep up with that firepower. And now that leads us to next week, USC versus Cal. After this game, USC became the number one team in the country. So number one USC versus Cal next episode. For me, thank you for watching. And our team will continue to fight on. Remember to watch any episode you might have missed in the series. And we'll see you in the Coliseum. Peace.